You can always move these sounds around later when you start to play it back, but what you want to do is try and build up, almost like building up a pattern. You want to almost fill in every little gap so sounds appear to be coming from all over the place. And I've got, at the moment, I've got no idea how it's going to sound, but I'm just building up the actual pattern up to about two minutes, so I know I've got sound for two minutes. I will now click this back out of solo, so all the other tracks are audible, and see how it's sounding. Sounding like a gunfight, but got to start adding some more in. Sometimes I put two together because, again, one of the tricks is to build up a random sound pattern. You can always add things or move things or change the sound of them, but you won't get an idea of that until you actually put quite a few bits down. So what I'm looking to do is to fill in some of the gaps as I go, and that will make a complete wall of sound. I'm just going to leave a little gap for that one. Put that. This one can be the one that fills in the the obvious gaps. Okay, I'm just going to play it back a little bit back and see how it's beginning to sound and see if anything's too loud. sounding good. I think I can even make it sound thicker with some more sounds in. I'm going to add another audio track. I'm just putting some extra sound effects in towards the end just to completely fill up this last bit. Put something in there. Let me see how that's sounding. So <clears throat> this is the uh, machine gun madness, as I'm going to call it, and it consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten machine guns, all firing at the same time. So all that's left to do is to master it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit of compression to all of them, which is effectively squeezing the sound, and it will give the illusion of it being louder. So I go to track compressor and add on a compressor as so you've got the threshold this one here and the threshold is the level at which this device starts operating so if you imagine if you move this down it'll start being more sensitive you've got the amount this slider here um, that's the amount of reduction so once you go over a certain threshold it will either start clipping quite aggressively or quite softly. And the lower number, if you have it clipping at say two or three, means it will be quite a gentle clipping. If you have it set really high, the minute the sound goes over zero, it will be very aggressive and bring it down quite quickly. 
the bottom two controls, you've got one called attack and one called release. Now, for most purposes, you should have the attack set as quick as possible at zero and the release set at zero. The attack is how quickly this device works and you really want this, this device to work very quickly. If it hears a loud noise, you want it to bring it down quickly. So that's the attack should be set as quick as possible. The release, again, is the speed this system will release its control over the sound. Because bearing in mind, this device is bringing the sound down if it hears something loud, and it will keep the sound down if the release is slow. So what you wanted to do is to bring the sound down if it hears something loud and then let it go back to normal very quickly. So always have the release set low. So I'm going to set the amount at around about 4 dB. So when it goes over the zero, it'll start bringing things down at a ratio of about 4 dB. The threshold, we have to play the sound to find the threshold. So here we go. The little red section lighting up there is how much this sound is being squeezed by. So you can see if I increase the amount here, it will actually get quite aggressive and it takes it down by about 9 dB. If I reduce the amount, it goes down. In an ideal situation, you really want to be probably taking about 5 or 6 dB out, which will be lit up here. So I'll turn the sound back up.